Hello all, in the previous video itself we just uh, viewed a visualization graph and then we would have just said that that we can just check the classification performance with some other uh, code. So here we are just with that code and we are not using the iris data set. We are using a data set which is downloaded from Kaggle which is the social network ads. So that is also a CSV file. So as usual, initially we have to import the libraries which are the NumPy, Matplab, Matplotlib and then Pandas. So just we can import the libraries and then we have to load the data set which is social network ads with this data set I downloaded from Kaggle. So in that in this data set uh, there is nearly uh, many variables nearly five variables. So in that one variable is an dependent variable and others are independent variables. The dependent variables I have just called as the y target variable and the independent variables I have called in the x variable. So then we have to split this data set into uh, x train, x test, y train and y test. For that, we I am using the library uh, sklearn. From the sklearn, we are importing train test split. Uh, this train test split is going to uh, split this x and y variable into x train, x test, y train, and y test. And the test size, that is the testing ratio, is 20% since it's 0.2. If you need some other percent like uh, Three means for testing you can just give us 0.3 then the training will be move as 70% uh, that is 0.7 so it, uh, the test size will be ba varied based on the size which you are choosing I am just choosing 0.2 since I need 20% for testing then the random set if you want means declare otherwise leave it as such as 0 so now we can uh, declare this x variables and y variables and then split it into x train, x test, y train and y test. So in order to, this, uh, to normalize this uh, variables x train and x test, I am just using the pre-processing uh, label from the sklearn which is standard scalar and then I am just fitting and transforming it to uh, transforming the x train and the x test variable so then uh, since this code we are just using the support vector mission we have to import uh, svc from the sklearn.svm library then i'm just fitting it to, the, to train uh, to train the model by and uh, to training we are just using the variables like the x train and y train so here the kernel which we are using is rbf if you are interested in some other kernel means please choose that so just i am running this svm so you can see what are the uh, constant things which support vector mission is having then i am just testing this model by svm model by using this predict function so then all the variables we got we have uh, we are going to display it in a confusion matrix so the for displaying the confusion matrix i am just importing the confusion matrix and accuracy score from the sk learn library and you can just see the values of the confusion matrix variable and moreover the accuracy is 0.95 so now previously as we did in the previous code now we are going to visualize this uh, how it is splitted so here you can just for this here yeah, i am just using some variable settings some variables like x set y set which is equal to x test and y test and x1 and x2 which i am just declaring by using the x test and uh, uh, y set variable and uh, by using the mesh grid and i am just plotting the contour and thus the x limit and the y limit then i am scattering this by using two different colors green and uh, red then 
uh, as of EV, as normal as to display a graph we have to provide a title x label y label legend and we are finally to show that plot we have just used the plot dot show function now we can run this code just you can see that this is the output we have displayed mostly since we got 95 percent accuracy in the red you can see mostly red variables are declined and in the green only some alpha uh, miss uh, classifications is there since our uh, accuracy is 95 percent if you got more than 95 to 99 or 100 means there will be not this much misclassifications once some uh, misclassifications are there there since uh, some red color is identified as green and some green as red only some misclassification is there so this is a good model so that's all regarding plotting the svm um, classification by using uh, while inputting a csv file thank you